guys, so today's video is going to be a super casual first impressions and review type video of some new drugstore makeup and yeah, I didn't do my hair for this video. I actually just like barely used any makeup because I was trying out the products that I'm going to be sharing with you and so this video is just kind of super casual so hope you guys are okay with that. I don't really have anything else to say for the intro so let's go ahead and jump into the product. So the first thing that I tried was the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin skin transforming foundation and this is what it, the packaging looks like and it is a titanium dioxide sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 15 and that's pretty cool to find in a foundation I think that's really great that they came out with one that has foundation or <laughs> has foundation <laughs> has sunscreen for the summer I got the shade 20 classic ivory it's very dark it comes out a little bit orangey on my skin tone and that's purely just because I'm super pale and this is what I looked like tan it blended in fairly nice I actually thought it was gonna be so dark on my skin that I wasn't even gonna be able to wear it and I thought that I wouldn't be able to use it in the video but it actually blended out really nicely and I would compare it to the L'Oreal dream I can't really remember the name of the foundation, but it was the like liquid to powder foundation that they had a while back. It has the same texture. It's very matte, but it also kind of feels like a powder because it is supposed to feel like your skin. So it's not like very liquidy, not very heavy at all. And yeah, it's very like soft to the touch, which is so cool for a foundation and something that's good for the summer because it does keep you matte, but it's really lightweight and everything. So yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. Yeah, overall, not too shabby. I like it. <laughs> next product I tried was the companion to that foundation. This is the Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector with Atylic Oil Free. I don't know, the foundation was that too. But this one does not have SPF, but this comes just as a regular concealer, has a doe foot applicator, and I got mine in the color number 20 light and I really like this again it's slightly dark for like my concealer color but it's totally fine I really like it it's good for my tan skin in the summer and it's really easy to blend out I wore it yesterday alone with like nothing else I just used concealer and powder for my fun like for my face makeup I didn't use any foundation and it was really nice it stayed on very well and it's a decent coverage another thing about like the foundation and the concealer they're not full coverage as you can see like you can still see like a few of my spots and stuff on my chin but um they're not like horrible they're not like super super light either so I'd say they're about medium coverage but out of the two I like the concealer better moving into eyebrows this product kind of weirded me out at the beginning because I was very confused by it and this is the brow satin by Maybelline and it's a smoothing duo brow pencil and filling powder so this side which I didn't open first has the brow pencil and I got mine in deep brown I believe and so this is actually a brow pencil that um, really does suit my eyebrows and I it's really hard for me to find a brow product that is the right color for me and I've been trying out a lot of new ones lately so I really like the color match on this one but then the other end of this is like the powder that you use to fill in and you have to like twist off the cap and then it looks like the sponge tip with this black stuff which it is just deep brown but it is so weird <laughs> and so I'll just like swatch it for you so it comes off brown or it looks black but it's like a powder it's like a less opaque eyeliner smudger thing I don't know but it's pretty cool I basically just filled in my brows with the pencil on the other side and then use this and I think they turned out okay they're a little bit darker than I normally go for but that's just because <laughs> there's hair in my eyelashes that's just because it's like you know the right color and it has like a little you have to like screw it in so the little cap has all the powder and it just like pushes it on I don't know super weird product but pretty cool because I've never tried anything like that Next two products that I tried were the new Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencils from Maybelline. And so I tried the white one and the black one. The white one I have on my waterline, which I never wear eyeliner on my waterline usually. And so I think it turned out really good. It's like staying in place, it's still white. Um, this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I think that's kind of cool. They're both, or like I guess this entire line is just so, so creamy. Like I swatched a little bit of the white one on my hand, you can see it. They're waterproof, they're so creamy and gel-like, they're like amazing. I applied the black one to my upper lash line, but I then just went over it with some liquid liner because I look funny without a wing on my eyeliner if I wear eyeliner. So I just did that, but it applied so nicely. So next time I go out, I'm definitely gonna try this on my waterline to see how that works. And what I found about the matte, the black one is that it's so super matte, which is so nice because most of the time like gel 
Uh, anyways, I don't know, it's hard to find things that are really matte these days, so I really like those. Those are cool products. And as for my eyeshadow, I tried out the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. So this is just one of their big neutral palettes, and guys, these eyeshadows are massive. They're so long, and I basically only use three shadows. I use this one, this one, and this one, and this one actually came off like so much darker than in the palette than it looked, but as far as pigmentation goes, they seemed nice. Um, I don't really like wear a lot of drugstore eyeshadow just because I do own all the naked palettes and like I, don't know, I have a lot of high-end eyeshadow so I always gravitate towards those but if you are kind of on a budget or you're a student and you want to get an eyeshadow palette that is really pigmented but like super affordable I would definitely recommend looking into these ones this one's more cool toned so it'd be better for like I'd say the fall like these colors I wouldn't really gravitate towards right now but in the fall I think I'll maybe play with it a little bit more but I think it's so fun and it does come with 10 eyeshadows and I'm sure it's like at least $20 or under or something but yeah this was really cool and I'm definitely gonna like try it out a little bit more. And my mascara that I chose today is something that is from Rimmel London and this is the Lift Me Up with Vitamins and Cucumber. Guys, this legitimately smells like cucumber. It's so cool, it smells so good. And like, when have you ever smelled a good mascara? It literally smells like cucumbers, it's amazing. Um, the brush is a little too big for my liking, it's very big, but the mascara does do a really great job of separating my lashes, which I liked. Um, not so much lengthening, but it does really do a good job of separating. So I thought that was cool. It's a little bit on the wetter side because I did get a little bit up on my like eyelid and stuff, which I don't really like. But um, I like the smell and I like that it is separating. So that's a cool drugstore mascara that I was excited to try. And the last six things I have here are lip products from Maybelline. I obviously only was able to wear two because I can't wear all six on my lips. Well, I could, but I just didn't. So what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the new Color Blur by Lip Studio, and this one is in 45. I'm blushing. So this is the more like neutral color pink that I got. I got all pinks. And basically these are just like twist up, eh, twist up lip products. So they twist up on this side and then this side has like a little smudger so you apply it to the center of your lips and then you smudge it out and this thing is so cool it works so well it's not obviously the most precise thing like a lip liner is going to be way more precise when you're getting sorry when you're going around your lips and stuff but the color is so velvety and so pigmented i love these and they come in so many different colors so yeah that's the neutral one i got and then i also got number 10 fast and fuchsia so that's a more like corally pink and then this one's more of a like dark fuchsia color and this one is pink insanity number five so these are all just like so cool they're so so velvety i love the texture of them and i love the fact that you can blur it out it's kind of fun for me so i really like those and then the last three are the maybelline and baby lips lip glosses and i love these i honestly really don't like lip gloss and i don't wear it very often just because i find it gets in my hair and different things like that but these ones smell so good and the texture of them is so nice because they are part of the baby lips line they're going to be a little bit more moisturizing so I have um this one on my lips over top of the Maybelline blur this one is um, um oh wait there it is number 40 tickled pink so this is like the light pink one and they are actually fairly pigmented which is so cool um i also got this one which is like a more bright pink and this one is pink pizzazz number 50 and this is a more neutral one and this is a taupe with me number 25 so these are so cool and if you like lip gloss i think you're really going to enjoy these um if you're looking for something that's super super pigmented i probably wouldn't like gravitate towards these because they're not going to be super pigmented but they are definitely pigmented they're not like super sheer if that makes sense so I think these are really cool and they feel really great on top of the uh, color blurs and they're not sticky which is always a plus. <laughs> so those are all the products that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more first impressions and demo type videos like this because I love doing this and I love trying out new products especially from the drugstore. So let me know if you guys like it and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and on Snapchat. I will have all my links down here and down below over here and down below. And I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.